action-packed episode of Logo, a show where we talk not only about brands but also what goes into making one. On Logo this week, we've got Preeti Vyas talking to as many as three brand experts on design. We've also got the PETA president Ingrid Newkirk talking to us about why her organization has to rely on shock advertising. But first up, our cover story. We get you all the details of Mahindra Singh Dhoni's endorsement deals. Find out more. Check. Sonata watches? Check. Pepsi? Check. Videocon? Check. Max Mobiles? Check. United Breweries? Check. Sounds like a full kitty? This is probably only just a third of the total number of brands Indian captain Mahindra Singh Dhoni endorses. What's even more surprising is the value of each of these endorsement deals. Mobile phone maker Max Mobiles just signed Dhoni for a whopping 29 crore. This, shortly after Vijay Malia's UB Group doled out rupees 26 crore for the man. So what makes Dhoni worth all this moolah? Dhoni is an uh, icon across India and uh, he's a great player. He's a best pro cricketer after uh, uh, Sachin Tendulkar and he attracts uh, Indian uh, uh, public. Yes, my Max Moment. Max's short stint in India has already seen it garner 4% of the market share and the company is hoping to take that to 10% over the next two years. And Dhoni has been roped in to do precisely that. Will the move pay off? Indranil Das, the chief operating officer of sports management company Quan, believes so. In terms of the endorsement space, uh, you know, you have the Khans and you have Dhoni. In terms of a brand, he's by far the biggest sporting brand in the country today. Uh, there was a time when someone like a Sachin rivaled him, but uh, you know, Sachin will always remain an iconic brand. But he is not the face of Young India anymore. I think someone like a Dhoni completely encapsulates that. Right? If you speak to any brand, that target audience will be between 18 and 30. And there's no one better who you know targets that audience than Dhoni. All put together, Dhoni has approximately 23 brands. While we're aware that UB and Max are shelling out 26 and 29 crore respectively, the buzz is that he charges no less than 6 crore per endorsement. Do the math and that figure works out to about 181 crores approximately a year by the most conservative of estimates. Indeed, this figure could be way higher considering his contracts are for three years and more. To top that, when brands enter into a deal with sportsmen, there are whopping performance-based incentives included. So don't be surprised if for every six he hits, his endorsement scorecard sees an equal height. Why are companies willing to spend so much on brand Dhoni though? The return in terms of brand, Dhoni for this year already he had uh, created a big uh, brand for Max itself because Max was not available in terms of uh, there was no, uh, people are not known about Max at all last year. Once we entered into the agreement with Dhoni, people started connecting Max with Dhoni directly. I thought that I must, I never used to believe in uh, celebrity or brand ambassador or something like that, never, never. And uh, many people asked me that did that add any value today, I said yes. Still, ad maker Pralat Kakar isn't as eager to put his money on Dhoni. So if they paid Dhoni X amount of money for, a, for an extremely cluttered market segment, uh, where uh, um, uh, Nokia is such a vast brand leader, uh, so many why you never going to actually catch them. And technology is going to change every two months. Uh, where are people like Max going to find the pockets to actually advertise? They always remember one thing. The two most expensive things in advertising is the amount you pay your brand endorser and the amount you pay the cha channels for endorsing the brands. Needless to say, opinions within the ad fraternity are divided. BBDO's chairman Josie Paul believes it's tough to go wrong with a brand like Dhoni. I think uh, Dhoni clearly uh, was uh, number one in my mind. Uh, he seems to put himself into the roles that he plays. I don't think most of the roles are written out correctly for him, but you can see that, you know, while he's making money, he's trying his best to perform. 
and not just uh, walk away with the dough. So I, I, I feel that uh, he's been good for the brands that he endorsed. Indeed, Dhoni is the hottest cricket property around currently, but his real test will come during the World Cup next year. A good performance will fetch him even better prices, while a shoddy one is sure to cause a drastic correction in price. So will brand Dhoni give advertisers bang for their buck? Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and watch for that. Moving on in our News of the Week section, here's a wrap on all the latest ad campaigns.